for you are great. You do miracles so great, mighty God. There is no one else like you. We love you this morning, Lord. There is no one else like you. For you are great. He's a mighty God. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You deserve the glory. You deserve the glory. And the honor. As we lift our hands in worship. As we lift your holy name for you. For you are great, mighty God. You do miracles so great. We love you, Jesus. There is no one else like you. Mighty God, sing it with me. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you, mighty God. There is no one else like you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, bless your people on this morning. As we get ready to go into the word of God and talk about it's getting ready to happen, minister to your people, strengthen them, encourage them, I pray. In the name of Jesus, mighty God. Now on this morning, we're talking about it's getting ready to happen. It's coming from the book of Joshua chapter one. And this is good news for somebody this morning. You know, you've just been waiting. You could feel it in your spirit, man. You just have a knowing in your knower. You just got this knowing on the inside of you that God is getting ready to do it. You can't deny it. So listen to what happens here in the book of Joshua chapter one, verses five through nine. And I just really want to take my time and teach the word of God this morning. This is after, after the death of Moses. Listen to what God said to Joshua in verse five through nine. God has given him a solemn promise. Listen to what God tells Joshua. There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. God's given Joshua the guarantee that no matter which battle he have to face, whoever the enemy is, it's over for him. It's over for the enemy. And listen to what God tells Joshua, as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. And listen, then he tells him, I will not fail you, nor forsake you. My God, my God. It's getting ready to happen. I'm talking to somebody here this morning. I said it's getting ready to happen. Listen to what he tells Joshua in verse 6. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shall you divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. My God, my God. Somebody, hey, glory to God, is about to possess the land that God made a solemn promise to you. It's getting ready to happen. You may be believing God for another house. You may be believing God for another job. You may be believing God to no longer be single. Get married to a good man. Get married to a good woman. I stop by to tell somebody this morning, it's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. Somebody help me praise him. Somebody help me praise him. I say it's getting ready to happen. Your prayer are about to be answered. God is about to bring it to pass. God is about to make it happen. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. The Bible says without faith, 
it's impossible to please God because he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Somebody help me give him praise. It's getting ready to happen. So listen, so he tells Joshua in verse 7, Only be thou strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may, obs- that you may prosper wherever you go. Then he tells him in verse 9, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. It's getting ready to happen in your life this morning. The promise that God made you, the promise that you are to wait a long time on, It took a long time to get you to this point. The Holy Ghost want me to tell you, it's getting ready to happen. Somebody lift your hands to heaven and open your mouth and declare it and decree it under the anointing of God. Open your mouth and say it. It's getting ready to happen. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should have to repent. If he said it, he'll make it good. If he spoke it, He'll bring it to pass. Isaiah 55 verse 11 says, So shall my word be that goes out of my mouth. It will not return unto me void, but it will accomplish that which I please, and it will prosper in the thing I sent it to prosper in. It's getting ready to happen. You are getting ready to possess your promised land. God is about to give you a victory. He's about to give you a breakthrough. God is about to shock you. He is about to fulfill his promise in your life. Lift your hands to heaven. Open your mouth and declare it under the anointing. It's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. I feel it in my spirit, man. I know in my Noah. It's getting ready to happen. The Holy Ghost is bearing witness with my spirit, man, that it's getting ready to happen for you. It's getting ready to happen for me. I said it's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen in the name of Jesus. I come in agreement with you that it's getting ready to happen. I come in agreement with you that God is about to fulfill his promise in your life. I pray strength into your spirit, into your soul, into your body. I pray that you would be strong and of a good courage and know that the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. There shall no man, there shall no enemy be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Wherever the soles of your feet shall tread, God will give it to you. You are the head and not the tail. You are above only and not beneath. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are blessed and not cursed. You are healed and not sick in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We love you, Lord. It's getting ready to happen. Yeah, yeah. My God. It's getting ready to happen. Glory to God. Listen here. Remember, sow a seed into the ministry. Stand with us. If you're watching us through through YouTube. I want you to like, I want you to subscribe to us on YouTube. Amen. Click on the bell. Click on that red and white subscribe button. And every time we go live or make new uploads, you will receive that notification. If you're watching us through Facebook, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Send us a friend request. And listen, that's all I felt the Holy Ghost wanted me to share with you this morning to let you know it's getting ready to happen. You've been believing God for a long time. Now you are at that place in your life where the promise of God is about to be fulfilled in your life. We love you guys. God bless you. See you again on another morning prayer broadcast from Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy. Don't ever forget it. We love you guys and we deeply care about you. Take care. Bye-bye.